In a Linux machine, the root user has all necessary privileges to make changes to the Unix machine. The root user is the top G, the top administrator. It is very necessary and of utmost importance that we prevent an attacker from logging in as root. This is related to whatever we do with our Linux system. In this case, we will be focusing on servers Engine X to be specific. In this task, Engine X has been run as the root. We are tasked to reconfigure Engine X master process to be run by another user called Nginx, so that if an intruder should get hold of our server, the intruder won't be able to have root privilege. It would only be able to have minimal privileges and cannot cause big damage. After debugging, we should get a response similar to this. Engine X user is running the master process as well as the worker processes. First, ISSH into the container for the web stack debugging. You can do the same or work directly in it. First thing is to start Engine X and see the user running Engine X. Next is to check the status of Engine X. We see that Engine X is running. Next is to check the user running Engine X. As we can see, Engine X has been run by the root, and the worker processes are run by nobody. A nobody user is a common user. It comes by default just like root as default in a Linux system. The nobody user is used to perform tasks that need minimal privileges. That is tasks that require tight security of the system in order to reduce potential damage if compromised by any intruder. So the thing is, um, usually in the Linux system, um, The server-like services are usually run by the user, the root, the root, the root data. But this engine has been configured in such a way that the, this very user, this the root, the root data user, does not run engine so that we can be able to debug it ourselves. So if we check out the users that are currently running some services, we are going to see that this the root, the root data user is running Apache. And it should be running um, the engine but is being um, um, the engine has been reconfigured to be run by root. So let's go to the to the file that where the settings of engineers are housed. So I can show you how they did it before we can continue. So engineers is engineer settings is housed inside this file. So if we see here, uh, we see that the this line, very first line is commented where it says user space and then it, li it lists the user, www data. So assuming we should uncomment this, but I'm not going to, if we should uncomment this and restart in Genesis, in Genesis is going to be run by this very user. But they made it this way so that we can debug it and, and reconfigure the whole server to be run by by the engineer's user which has um, a lesser privilege that is how they achieve the goal of running engineers as root so let's continue so since we need to run engineers as um engineer's user we would need to create an engineer's user but before that we will have to check the users that are existing on this system to be sure that we really need to create a new user or if the engineer's user already exists. So we are going to use the get ENT command and then we pass in the user that we are looking for. So, and then 
you should know that all users can be found in this passwd directory so here in the next means the name of the user x represents the password for the user and the first 1000 is the user id the second 1000 is the group id and in the next user is just um this this is the, like the this is the home directory that is like the, it's just extra information and then this one is um it just means that nginx user cannot log into the system that is to say that nginx user has limited permissions and cannot have interactive sessions with the system so next thing is to figure out how to run nginx server as nginx user so we are going to try running nginx server as the nginx user using this command so the way this works is when we say sudo hyphen u and then you say um, in the next what it means that um, hyphen u represents the user and follows by the name of the user so whatever comes after the name of the user is the command that we are going to run with the play the privileges that is assigned to the particular user so we see that we get permission denied the reason that we get permission denied is likely because nginx user does not have the necessary permission to read the nginx.config file you know the file that we opened the where we saw the www data that was commented so we are going to go back and check the permission of all the nginx files and see what changes that we can do so here we can see that the main file housing the nginx server settings has no read permission for any users or group except for the top g which is the root user so um which is not even visible so we will have to give a read permission to the nginx user and his group so you are going to use this sudo chain mode to give it the uh, read permission for the group and others so six is for the owner of the file which is the root so six is gotten from um, four plus two four means um, read two means write so if we add the two and we give it to the user which is root so he has read and write permission on this file and then the next one is four which is for the group four means read which means the group has read permission for this file and the next one is four which is also read which means the other has um, read permission for this file so if we press enter and check the permission again we can see that um, now the root has um, read and write permission why engineers and other groups have um, engineers and others have the read permission as well So now we can try to start Nginx as the Nginx user. So we notice that we did not get permission denied. We are going to check the status to see if it's running, if we really started this. And we see that Nginx is running. Next is to reconfigure the etc slash Nginx, that is where the settings is housed to make sure that we list engineers as is user we open this file and what we are going to do is to uncomment this line we can comment this line and then we go and modify this and change this to nginx so now the user running this um, nginx server is going to be the nginx user so next thing we are going to do is to go to reconfigure nginx to be running on port 8080 and that can be done in the symbolic link which is in the this um, size enable so in a Linux system, the symbolic link is what uh, a Windows system calls shortcut, like when you have shortcuts to your desktop for your softwares.
So inside this file, we are going to change the listing um, derivative or whatever it's called to port 8080 for both IPv4 and IPv6. And after modifying, we save and exit, and we are going to restart Nginx. But before we restart Nginx, we are going to check if another internet service is listening on port 8080, because we know that previously Nginx listings on port um, on port 80. So since we've changed the port, we are going to first check if um, any internet service is listening on port 8080 before starting to restarting Nginx. So we are going to use this command, which is um, list uh, open files, and the hyphen i represents uh, internet, and then say port 880. So we see that it says command not found. So we are going to install it. Install it. And after installation, we try again. So we see the port running on the services running on ports 8080. I think you are going to use the this other command PID of to check, and then we are going to kill it. And uh, we see, oh well, is Apache. We kill all the all of his PID and And we are going to restart Nginx and also change the Nginx status. And after that, we see that Nginx is running, which means the Nginx user has successfully started Nginx. And then we are going to check to see the master process that is running the engine we know that previously it was root so we are going to check and see also we are going to check if engine is listening on port 8080 or not so now that we've achieved this the next thing we are going to do is to write put this in a bash script to to be able to automate it in, in case of if this kind of thing happens again First, we are going to start with the hash bang, and then next one is going to be um, we first stop in Genex. We change the lizard that is supposed to be running in Genex in the config settings. And then we change our port from 80 to 8080. And then we change the permission for the config file. And then afterwards, we change the ownership to Nginx. And then we check for the PID running on port 8080. 
kill it and lastly we restart nginx save and exit and we'll make it executable then we use the shell check to be sure that we are not getting any errors and if it's not installed on your s machine just use this command to install it For the tax tool, we use almost the same command, but we do this to not more than seven lines, and also make it executable. As if this video helped you, just please subscribe to my channel and also like the video. Thank you.